In this project, we're deploying a secure PostgreSQL instance on Google Cloud using Cloud SQL with private networking only. We'll start by setting up a custom VPC and subnet. Next, we provision a PostgreSQL 15 Cloud SQL instance with automatic backups and a stable maintenance window defined. Cloud SQL is Google Cloud's platform as service or database as service database offering that we'll be using. Public IP address access to the instance is disabled and the database will be fully isolated inside our private VPC. To simplify internal connectivity, we create a private DNS zone and map a friendly host name to the private database's IP address. We then spin up a lightweight Ubuntu VM and install PGWeb, a browser-based client that connects privately to the database. There's also another uh, web tool out there called PG Admin. It's a little less lightweight. It requires a bigger instance. So we went ahead and deployed the smaller one so we can deploy on a cheaper, smaller instance type. This VM gets a public IP address so we can securely access the PG Web UI from anywhere, but it will access our private database. So it's the interface into the private database. We also use the Pagula sample database. This is a fictional DVD rental st store. It gives us real tables, foreign keys, and data to explore using SQL queries right there in PG Web. This sample database has been around for almost 20 years. So you can go to ChatGP or Google and ask it questions and work on queries. Um, it's very well known. By the end of this project, you'll have a fully private uh, PostgreSQL setup in GCP, complete with a working web interface and real-world data for testing. Likewise, everything in this project is managed through Terraform and Shell Scripts, which will give you a clean, repeatable process that you can then adapt for your own solutions. Okay, now let's take a look at the architecture diagram. It's, it's fairly simple in GCP. Like everything, GCP is always simpler uh, to get started with. So the first thing we have is we deploy the Postgres VPC in our uh, project. And then within that, we deploy a subnet, just a single subnet. It will do everything in this project. So within that subnet, we're going to deploy both the Postgres instance Cloud SQL managed service so the PG Web VM instance, which is an Ubuntu instance, and it runs a, uh, a metadata script to install PG Web and get everything up and going. Then outside of the VPC, we got two other things that are associated with this project. The first one is the private DNS zone. Normally, when the Cloud SQL instance boots, it just gives you a raw IP address, like 10.0.0.0.5 or whatever. Um, and so what we do is put an A record in there so we can manage it by a simple DNS name. And then finally, when we provision the Postgres database, we have to give a, you know, administration password. What we're going to do is set, set, generate a random password, store it in Postgres SQL uh, credentials. And then everywhere that when we use in the project in the demo, we're going to go get your credentials out of secrets. So it's nothing's hard coded. And every time you run this project, you'll get a different uh, credential. Okay, let's briefly talk about the prerequisites. First off, there's a video out there called the GCP and Terraform Easy Setup that walks you through setting up everything you need to do in Google, creates a build identity for you to use in a Terraform project. So briefly, the, the what you need is a Google Cloud account with everything set up with those uh, credentials. You need the G Cloud CLI, which is used in the build scripts. And then we'll need the latest version of Terraform deployed. Okay, now let's do the build. What you want to do is go into the repository here and uh, click on here and bring up your development environment. Paste that in. Now, there's a couple of things unique to GCP that we'll talk about. Now, first off, we in all our scripts, we create this uh, check EMV script. So I'm going to do check EMV. And it's going to go, hey, you don't have credentials.json. So that's part of the introduction video or the uh, prerequisite video. What you need to do is get that uh, credentials.json. And I'm going to go into my account here. And I'm going to upload from my laptop. And I've got credentials.json. I want to run check ENV. And it should come back and say, hey, you can log in. So that's step one that's specific to GCP. Step two is there's various APIs you have to set up uh, with GCP. I don't typically do that in Terraform. I do it in a script. It seems to work out better. So I'm going to do API setup, and it's going to go through 
and it's going to enable all the projects you need or all the uh, APIs you need for this project. The first time you run this, this may take five, 10 minutes. Okay, once all the APIs are enabled, the next thing we do is we're going to run the apply script. Now, the apply here takes between 10 and 15 minutes. So I'm going to do apply to sh. Okay, the build has completed. So now what we want to do is bring up the GCP console and let's take a look as to what got built. So in the GCP console, uh, the first thing I do is I put uh, SQL and say manage my SQL Postgres SQL Server. You will see our one Postgres instance it has a private IP address of 10.77.03. So let's click on that. And you can see uh, if we go to connections, we will see that we are sitting inside a VPC that we've created, the Postgres VPC. Um, again, the IP address, we've disabled public uh, IP connectivity. The other thing that's interesting is there seems to be quite a bit of interfaces in the GCP console to actually interact with the database. So I will show Cloud SQL Studio during the demo, but in general, you can see all of the users and I can manage my users here. I can even hook in users to uh, GCP IAM users. We didn't do that. We just kept it simple. We have one user Postgres, but you can go in here and um, change passwords. You can do various Postgres operations in here. Then in databases, it's the same way. So in the databases, we've got the two that are created by default, the Postgres and the Pagula database that is loaded. Um, I can create a new database here. I'm going to um, we have um, backups. I, I did the most basic backups of seven days. We also have System Insights. System Insights just gives you a quick dashboard of your uh, basic utilization, CPU utilization, disk utilizations, connections, transactions. So that's pretty much it for the database. Well, we will do a demo and connect to it, but let's uh, look at what else we got built. So we have uh, VMs. So we have the VM instance. And here we have the PG Web VM. It is a public, so I have an external IP address. And it's it's pretty basic. It has a, it's in US Central 1A. Um, it's got a uh, the disks, I think it's 16 gigs or 8 gigs, 10 gigs, long with way. So this is the VM, and we, we put Ubuntu on it. It starts up, the metadata script runs. It's going to install all the prerequisites for GB Web, get it running, and um, enable it. So that's the second part of the build. And the last part of the build is um, the secrets. So if I go to secrets... Secret Manager, then I can click on Postgres Credentials, and I can say View Secret Value. Now we're going to leave this up because we're going to do a demo here, but this allows you to get your, your secret. It's going to change every time you do a build. Okay, now let's do a demo. So what I'm going to do is go back to my Ubuntu environment. I'm going to do run the validate script. And then it's going to go find the IP address for the PG web application, which is done by IP address. Uh, there's no DNS entry in GCP. And what we're going to do is connect to that. And then the Postgres server is this guy right here. So I'm going to copy this guy right here. Copy. I'm going to bring up a new tab. And I'm going to put this in there. And it should say, OK, what database do you want to connect to? So let's go back to uh, the console or to the build environment. There's the name. That's the local DNS that we created. So we don't have to put in the IP address. We can put in a DNS name. Copy that. Go back into here. We'll say that is the uh, database, the Postgres SQL, and we're going to connect to Pagula. But our password, we have to go back to secrets. We did the view secrets. And there you go. There's the, the secret value. Um, a little hard to copy and paste here. But I'm going to copy that and paste that in and you can see this is the database this is the pagula database we've got the actors database the names in here are kind of funny they're they're you know they're scrambled real names like uh, penelope guinness or you know ed chase uh so they're all fake names but they're they're, they're kind of funny if you look at them there's also the films 
So we've got the film database. And notice the film ID and the actor ID. There's all these uh, keys that you can use for joins. So on the films, we've got a bunch of uh, films that are interesting too because they have really silly names. You know, uh, a boring epistle of a butler and a cat who must fight a pastry. It's just, it's just nonsense. Um, so th there's that. Then you can also do queries. So I'm going to go to the query tab. And I'm going to go into the documentation, go to the very end. There's two joins that I include in there that are non-trivial, but not that complicated. So I'm going to put the first one in there, and I'm going to go in there, copy that. And I'm going to paste the query in and say run query. And it's going to say, okay, I've joined the film and the actors tables together. So you have a list of films and then the actors that are in there. So that's the first query. The next query is, it's very similar. Uh, let's go back to the instructions and do query number two put that in there and you will see one query you've got the same sort of um, data you have the movie and then you have a comma separate list of actors in the movie it's just another way of slicing and dicing the data so that's pretty much it for pg web so i'm going to uh disconnect here and close the browser what I like to do now is go back to the uh, GCP console and let's go to SQL again. And I'm going to click on the Postgres database that we're in. Now I'm going to click on Cloud SQL Studio. And here we're going to do the same thing. We're going to connect to the database. We are going to um, copy the user ID and password. So it's it's Postgres, and then this is the password. And I'm going to authenticate. And right here in the console, you're going to get the same sort of data that you were before. You've got the um, the films. You can do a query. And it's the same information you saw in the other one. Um, let's see here. Let's, can I do a new query and let's go back to our documentation and do that funky uh second query where we do a join and then do a comma separated list so let's copy that in there and let's uh put it into sql studio and run and you'll get the same query that we did in the other one so there's multiple ways of interacting with the database you can deploy your own database um application like PG Web, or you could use the studio, uh, the cloud SQL studio within the GCP console. So at this point, I think we're pretty much done with the demo and the project. So what we want to do is we want to be a good steward of our cloud account. So I want to go back to our environment here and I'm going to do destroy.